just tried the 25 pitch PowerTech VHS. Then the second video was a 27 T2 repitch to a 26 pitch by Mark Croxon and he thinned the blades a little bit and balanced it. We saw the results of that. It was a slower hole shot, um, but we were able to pick up about the same top end speed, but the RPMs were about 150 to 200 RPMs less. So that is my cold water prop. This last prop here was designed by Mark Croxon specifically for Yamaha. Now, with that being said for you Merc guys, I truly would love to see a Merc guy try one of these props with a Merc hub kit because you have to get a hub kit for them. They are a very fast prop for being a stock prop. My whole shot is phenomenal. My top end is impressive. Um, the issue I was having was I spun four hubs this summer on it and a buddy just got me a Merc Racing hub to put in um, it's a Merc Racing Hub made for Yamaha, so it's still a Yamaha spline kit and all of that, but it's made by Merc Racing and it's an all metal hub kit, and I should not be spinning hubs with that. I contacted Yamaha and one of the issues they have is at high RPMs, you can spin a hub when I'm running these 6100, 6200 RPMs. This prop is actually a 25 TXP, it's a 14 and 7 8 inch diameter or maybe it's 14 and 3 quarter I'll have to look but it's a smaller diameter so you get your faster RPMs but it has some rake and it loves to be ran high and this is the TXP which is designed for two stroke <sighs> sorry I feel like there's something hanging on my nose um, I ran the FXP which is the same prop but designed for four strokes and believe it or not with my setup um, which is about 70% of the weight in the back, about 30% in the front. With my setup, the TXP is performing better all the way around. Um, I do feel on a Falcon, because of how heavy the front ends are, that TXP prop spins your RPMs higher on takeoff, which gives you that whole shot, but yet it's still got all the components of the prop with the jack plate adjustments to give you the top end. So I feel... The TXP with my setup and probably with most Falcons are going to run better than the FXP. I got to run them both and there was a very visible difference on both whole shot and top end. So I already know how this prop runs. This is the first time I've tried this hub kit so we're going to see actually how it works. I just got it in but I know for a fact this prop is very impressive. And uh, here we go. I'm going to have the jack plate starting at 6 because I already know with this prop where it goes. But we're going to see what it can do. All right, here we go. Going to straighten her up. All right, going to start at 6 down here, all the way down. Now watch this hole shot. Here we go. Hole shot is good. And then it climbs. Right at 4,000, climbing up. Very fast acceleration. Very fast climb. We got excellent lift. Excellent lift. Very fast climb. Got a turn here. Already impressive. Maybe 20 seconds in. Depending on weather conditions with all these props 
just some perform a little better than others at different times of the year and how much weight I'm carrying based on the tournament. So I'm going to drive this and drive it normal. We're coming up on a straight stretch and you're going to see the lift and how fast it accelerates through the power band and where my RPMs are. A smaller diameter is still going to give you a uh, faster RPMs, but the, the blades on this prop are bigger than other blades with smaller diameter barrels on them. The barrel on this prop is much smaller, which lets you have a larger grip with the, with the blades. And that's why this TXP or the FXP is a phenomenal prop. But we're going to spin this around and we're going to drive this thing and see what she can do. All right, I'm going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit more for a faster hole shot. Bring this down. Half a tank of gas, live wells, tournament stuff. Here we go. Nose lower, gone. I'm going to drive this thing, going to trim up. Trim up.
with a 27 T1 Ventless, which are so rare to find. I had it blue printed and everything, and this thing was the, a rocket. The problem was I hit in Dora Canal on a national event. I hit a Cypress knee idling through and ruined that prop. So guys, weight balance. I have 30% of my weight in the front, about 70% in the back. Um, I was in a tournament Saturday with my partner, a full tank of gas, because I ran 24 miles one way. I hit 79.2, driving it and touching it and critiquing it over a, a long ride. You play with the jack plate, play with your props, play with your load distribution, and I promise you, you will see some top end performance. And here's something else. Yes, there's several boats faster than this out there on the water. You got bullets, gamblers, ballistics. I've heard claims from Phoenixes. Just gonna laugh, I got some buddies with Phoenixes. I haven't seen them do what this can do yet, but I'll say this. When you can ride 75 with a 10 inch chop on the water and plow through the waves, with the widest fishing deck in the industry. Nothing beats it for fishability. And no, I'm not sponsored by Falcon, although, yes, Falcon Boats, I would love to be able to have a sponsorship when I go on the Opens next year. But that's a whole nother thing. But I'll tell you guys, this boat is impressive. I looked at a lot of boats to have an enormous fishing deck, to have the control, the handling, I can all day long feather this pedal at 70 and take three footers. This thing is an absolute war pig in rough water. And that's why when you get in big water, you're passing them bullets and those older gamblers and the lighter boats in the rough water because this boat will hold that true speed through rough handling. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to message me. I'll do the best I can. Gonna do a little fishing now.